Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at question 2c of the EDI Functional Skills Maths Level 2 Sample Assessment. And yes, it's the dreaded running track question. So, let's have a read of the question and see where we can start. So the running track needs the lane markings repainted. The lane markings are the straight and curved lines around the track. The lanes are one meter wide. One liter of paint is needed to cover 12 meters of lane markings. One liter of paint costs £3.15. We have a formula telling us the circumference of a circle is the pi times the diameter. And how much will the paint cost is our ultimate question. So, starting with the question, how much will the paint cost? So we know that one litre of paint costs £3.15, which means we need to know how many litres of paint we need. So going backwards, one litre of paint is needed to cover 12 metres of lane markings. So in order to work out the litres, we need to know how long the lane markings are. We know that the lanes are split by one metre wide and the lanes are marked with straight and curved lines around the track. So what we have is we have one, two, three, four lines that need painting. And this is where I'm going to start. We need to know how long the lines are around the track. So we need to know how long these lines are in metres and when we've got that as a starting point, the length of those lines around the track in metres, we can then start to convert to litres and then we can times the litres by the cost. So we need to know how long these lines are around the track. Now, this is where I'm going to start and it's thinking about compound shapes. There isn't an easy way to measure the, le the length of this line around this shape because it's not a regular shape it's more like a, a, a sausage shape or something like that it's a shape made up of other shapes if we can actually work out the regular actu the, the regular shapes involved it will make it a lot easier now if you can see taking the, the, the green uh, the grass in the middle and looking at the lane marking around the inside lane we can see that if we start from here and go to here we've got a straight line which is 100 meters and we also have another straight line at the bottom which is also 100 meters and if we were to ignore those two straight lines there and concentrate on what was left which is this curved line here a semicircle and also a curved line here which is another semicircle if we split this up And I'm just going to draw that out on my little board so that we can see what I mean by this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this inside lane marking out separately. So we've got our two straight lines and we also have a circle effectively which is made up of either end of the running track. Uh, we know that each one of these is 100 meters. And what do we know about the circle in the middle? Well, we know ah, that it's 40 meters from one side to the other. So we know that from here to here is 40 meters. Okay? So what we need to know is we know those lengths easily but we know the length across the middle of this we don't know the length around the outside edge which is ultimately what we're trying to work out the length around the edge of this circle will give us the, the paint that we need for the uh, for the curved bits at the end of the track so the length around the outside edge of a circle is actually given to us in the question with this formula just here which is the circumference of a circle so the circumference of a circle is pi d. Circumference of a circle is pi d. And what I like to do, I always like to write that out with the operator in the middle there, which is a times. 
A letter next to a letter always means times in a formula. So the length around the outside edge of this circle is pi times the diameter, and the diameter is the length from one side to the other through the centre, which is 40 metres. So pi, we know, is roughly 3.14, and we're going to times that by 40 in this case. And what we're going to do is we'll load up the calculator to do that for us. So, this is where I'm going to start. So, the length of the curved part of the inside lane is worked out by pi times the diameter across that circle, which is 40. I'm going to insert that. And I'm going to round it to two decimal places. In fact, I'm going to round it to the nearest whole number because it gives you this to the nearest whole number, which is 126 metres. That's the first part. Now, that's the length of the curved edge all the way around that circle. But remember, we also have two straight edges in that inside lane, which are each at 100 metres. So, to work out the length of the whole inside lane, we're going to do 126, and we're going to add on 100 for the top edge, and 100 for the bottom edge. Insert that. 326 metres is the length of the whole of the inside lane of this track. So we've got 100 there, 100 there, the circle makes up 126 metres, add them together, and you've got your length of that inside lane. Okay? Now, that's the hard bit done, because we've worked out exactly what we need to do to work out the length around that odd shape or that odd, the, the odd line around that shape so what we need to do now is we've got we've got the length of one line but we need to work out the length of the next line and the next line and the next line so on so one line at a time we're going to go on to the second lane of the track so I'm going to get my whiteboard out again because I prefer to draw this out just for, for visualization's sake. So what we have here is we're going to have a 100 meter line again and we're going to have a 100 meter line again. Now if we have a look back at the picture, the 100 meter line is going to stay the same. Okay, So that length of the straight edge is the same between there and there and also between there and there. But the thing that's changed as we've gone out a lane is that the curved part on either side is bigger than the curved part of this inside lane. But by how much? So if we look back at our question, it said the lanes are one metre wide. Okay. So I'm going to draw this out again to visualise it. So if in fact, let's have a look back at the picture. If these lanes are one metre wide, from here to here, that would make this distance 41 metres. But we've got another metre added to this side as well, which will make the length all the way across that circle, or the semicircle, 42 metres. Okay? So for the next lane, what we need to do is we're going to have a circle that we need to work out which has got a diameter of 42 meters instead of 40 so the next lane out the length around that curved edge is the circumference which is pi times the diameter pi is 3.14 times the diameter of this one which is 42 
So that's what we're going to type into our calculator. So the length of curved part of lane 2 is pi times 42, which is 131 meters, and I'm just going to round that to the nearest number, meters. And last but not least, if that's the curved part, the length of lane 2 in total is 1, 3, 2, plus 100, plus 100, which equals 332 meters. Excellent. So, that's the length of lane 2. Lane 3, then. So, we know that it's going to be 100 meters at 100 meters, but... Instead of being 40 metres across, we've got 41 metres, 42 metres to there, and 43, 44. So we're adding another 2 metres on to get the true length of this inside edge. So the length of the curved part of lane 3, you will see now a bit of a similarity between what we've been doing and instead of being 42 meters now we've got that this is 44 meters so we know now that we're actually adding on two meters at a time so this one will be pi times d which is 3.14 times 44 which will give us our answer so, the curved part of line 3, lane 3, will be pi times 44, which equals 138 metres. I'm going to round that to the nearest metre again. So, the length of lane 3 in total is 138 plus 100, plus 100. Which is 338 metres. And last but not least, the edge of the outside lane will be the length of the curved part of lane 4. And we know we're going to add 2 metres on to the diameter of that circle again. One for the top lane, one for the bottom. Which means it will be pi times 46, which equals 144.5. I'm going to round that to 145 metres, nearest whole metre. So the length of lane 4 in total will be... Uh, 145 plus 100 plus 100. Remember, those are the straight edges of that lane, which is 345 metres. Okay, so we've got the length of each lane separately now. So to work out the total length of all of the lanes, we're going to add them all together. So for lane 4, we know it's 345. We're going to add that to 338. We're going to add that to 332. And we're going to add that to 326. So we've got our four lanes there, inside, middle, middle, outside, equals 1,341 metres. So the length of all the lanes 
is 1341 meters. Okay, so now we can convert the number of meters into the number of litres of paint needed to cover that amount. So if one litre of paint covers 12 metres, if we divide our total length by 12, because one litre will cover 12 of those metres, if we divide that by 12, that will give us 111.75 litres of paint. That is how much paint we need to cover that distance of track. So litres of paint. We could we could arguably round that up to 100. Let's round it up to 112 litres. So we've got a whole figure there. So we need 112 litres of paint. And coming back to the question, a little bit of a recap. How much will it, the paint cost? The one litre of paint costs £3.15. Now we've got litres, now we can convert 112 litres into money by times in it by £3.15 equals and there we have our answer, which is the cost of paint, which we get to be £352.80. And there we have it. That's how to work out question 2C of the EDI sample assessment. That's the running track question.